Hey guys, my name is Dave and I want to show you a new product. It's a new color. It's called Violet Thunder. Uh, Michelle here from Car Part Restoration, CPR. They restore these old car parts, put a new coat of paint on them, um, or just clean them up, make them look good. And uh, she reached out and wanted this certain color. So I'm like, yeah, let's do it. And we're going to do it with spray cans. <laughs> so yeah, I've got spray guns, but it's really easy to do do this job with aerosol cans so we've got the products you can get this kit from VG Auto Paints it comes with primer color and clear coat and um, yeah it's going to be heat resistant and look awesome and uh, yeah what do you think yeah <laughs> so we've got this um, we've got this rock cover and it's got like raised lettering so we're also going to be keeping that lettering in the silver that polished uh, metal look uh, so we're going to show you how to do that and um, yeah, we're going to give it a cool coat of clear and it should look pretty awesome by the end of it, so yeah. Alright, let's do it. So Michelle also does vapor blasting and sand blasting and she got this rocker cover really clean. But we are going to clean it with a bit of wax and grease remover before we get started. And that's just spray it on and wipe it off. So after shaking the can, we're now spraying the white etch primer. And this particular color needs a white ground coat. And the white etch primer is going to be perfect for that. So we're going to spray three coats of Etch Primer, waiting 10 minutes between coats. Being the professional that she is, yes, she's done this before. <laughs> so a handy hint, we're going to wipe off the white with some thinners and a block and some a rag. So it's just going to wrap that, get it nice and tight, and give it a tape around. So now using a block and a tight rag wrapped around it, we're going to use some multi-purpose thinners and wipe off that etch primer. You can do this about two minutes after painting the primer. When it's not fully cured, it's going to be a bit easier to wipe off. Now it's been about 20 minutes and the primer is a little bit dry. We're just going to sand it with a sanding sponge just to make it even smoother. Sometimes primer can go on a bit rough. Sanding sponge is going to make it nice and smooth. Now it's time for the fun part and that's spraying the base coat. This is a 2K base coat so you can choose any clear you want. We're going to use 2K clear but you can use a 1K heat resistant clear or just an acrylic clear. So we're just going to spray three coats, waiting 10 minutes between coats, making sure to get nice, even coverage. Okay. Now to get that blue look on all the different angles, we're going to spray a color shift pearl. And this is a blue to purple shift. We're going to put two coats over the job, waiting 10 minutes between coats. Now we we'll let the base coat dry for 20 minutes and it's time to spray the 2K clear. This is 2K clear in a can, which means there's two parts. Now putting this button on the bottom and activating it mixes the two parts together and starts the chemical reaction. Once you've given it a good shake up, it's ready to spray the job. We're going to spray two good coats of clear, waiting 10 minutes between coats. Now it's going to be touch dry in about 15 minutes, but fully cured when left overnight. Alright, wait, 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 
what did you learn today? <laughs> what did you learn today about painting with spray cans? Uh, no, no comment. Nah. Come on. <laughs> There. Um, that's great. Yeah. That bit of advice can make someone's job look amazing mm -hmm. and so that's great. Awesome, awesome. All right, so we got the job done. Um, now this kit is going to be like four stages. It was white primer, yep. then the violet thunder base coat, yep. and then we wanted a blue tinge to it, right? Yes. So we got... Look. Yeah, yeah, that bluey violet look. Yep. So we put the blue violet color shift over that violet thunder yep. And then 2K clear, um, so it's going to be pretty heat resistant and looks awesome, right? It does. <laughs> and um, it's all done with aerosol cans. Yeah. So, so anyone can do it? Exactly right. And um, yeah, cool. So yeah. hope you like that. That's how you paint a rocker cover with raised lettering and an awesome color shift pearl, Violet. purple. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Violet all right. Thunder. Good job. Thank you. Job well done. Cheers.